thing is that it's a it's a part of creating a record as to what exactly transpired and the committee has gone into very deeply into the various incidents the built up of the up to the the aftermath and the various issues where is other issues so this document remain uh, is a historical document in the sense that 5 years or 10 years ahead people should know what really transpired during the riots in 2020 so this is one one of the secondly there is a need to uh, there is a narrative by the by this particular government and the that where the uh, uh, anti ca protesters are branded as rioters or the uh, jihadis etc so that kind of a narrative where there is a, a, a hate there is spreading hate all the time or maybe for electoral gains or for some other gains so they we we must have another narrative and there is a constitutional narrative and that is the that is what the so this uh, this is a committee of some former judges and bureaucrats we come together and we look into it it's not our intention was never to interfere with the court process but to inquire into because as 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 a uh, uh, as citizens we are concerned how this happened in a capital of the of the and why it spread over four days and why there was so much loss but to human the, lives the goal is justice of course goal is justice goal is justice i mean the it uh, the whether people would listen to it whether media will take it up that's a completely different matter a discussion on the report yes, the implications of the report where we were where we are now it is important to bring it before the public that is the essential purpose of this report because the lessons are not transient the lessons are permanent they have to be learned and they have to be acted upon by the public the sheer fact that what happened is documented because there are efforts to uh, erase history there are efforts to deny that something like even 2002 happened forget about the delhi riots which were at a i mean if we compare it to 2002 they were smaller scale although the same uh, modus operandi but uh, smaller scale so when there are efforts all around to erase um, whatever has happened and especially whatever sang parivar has done to the uh, especially to the minorities there is a need to record to document even if no one uses it for the sake of history it is important ek to main usko danga nahi kehta hu kyunki danga kehne se hinsa ke ek alag roop ka pata chalta hai jisme lagta hai ki wo kuch swatantra spurtta thi aur jisme do teen paksh shamil the main isko delhi ki hinsa kehta hu jo suniyojit hinsa thi in january 2022 The Uttarakhand police arrested him for hate speech against Muslims at a Hindu enclave in Haridwar in December 2021. In April 2022, the Delhi police in an affidavit to the Supreme Court said that nothing pointed out to calls for genocide being made by speakers. By the this was the first affidavit of the Delhi police. The court asked them to submit a better affidavit. In May 2022, the Delhi police changed tack. and said an fir was registered against the speakers for hate speech no action has reportedly been taken against any police officers for this misdirection you cannot see a difference in the rhetoric of the kind of vile uh, language that is being used by prominent politicians from the bjp or by tv anchors in the studio and that complete match is because this is the ethos that has been defined for our times and which has huge public acceptance this is not a place where this is being imposed on the public the public is freely participant in this atmosphere of hate that is happening is there institutional bias in the police force in the law enforcement in the investigating agencies we have shied away from even examining that proposition it's something that in the uk was uh, uh, put forward after the killing of stephen lawrence by lord macpherson about what is institutional bias when an entire organization as a collective works through prejudices etc so there are models which are helpful in examining a certain situation there are problems of policing hate speech 
just let me put it in proper perspective. See, threads of what gives rise to violence are all around us. Hate and spite have spread widely. What we need now is a collective response. हम बहुत तेजी से एक फांसीवादी समाज की तरफ बढ़ रहे हैं अगर चौथा करेक्टरिस्टिक्स होते हैं किसी भी फांसीवादी समाज के और आज की तारीख में मुझे लगता है कि हम 60-70 प्रतिशत उन चौथा के चौथा करेक्टरिस्टिक्स को क्रॉस कर चुके हैं वी हैव क्रिएटेड एन इकोनॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर इन विच इन अ हाफ लिबरलाइज इकोनॉमी द ओनर्स ऑफ द मीडिया आर एट द बैक एंड कॉल ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज मीडिया कैन ओनली बी ओन बाई ओनर्स विद लार्ज अमाउंट्स ऑफ मनी that large amount of money does not come from the media it's a strange fact if we actually look on it that from 1990 onwards any new media organization that has been launched has not made money you can look at ndtv you can look at outlook i can name 10 others yet new media outfits continue to be opened why is that the case because it's an influence peddling business today what shapes our understanding cannot be that these police officers one is of course there is a direct political interference and a political diktat that is given the second is a matter of institutional bias particularly against religious minorities something that is and has been there against uh, 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 dalits and other marginalized groups but something we don't examine as uh, uh, as as a, as a subject and i would urge that we look through that lens and we would find rather grim uh, concerns that may emerge the committee was troubled by several questions such as what drove the violence and if hate was at the heart of the violence how did society become so saturated with toxic hate that violence was a natural outcome it was like bringing a mastic to a powder keg all this is unfolding before the eyes of the delhi police let us again be honest do we really expect this police force to be acting are we waking up today and asking accountability of a police force which may i point out that most of the senior officials who were in the police force over the last 10 or 15 years would have been trained and mentored by people who have gone through 84 or have a direct chain of command with the police force that actually tackled the 84 violence against the six in delhi they have seen that not only do you not suffer but you actually progress in your career if you are complicit with the political powers that exist the number of times nowadays that people ask for a special investigating team is actually something that should be uh, just data points should be built on it because there seems to be a general uh, lack of faith in an investigation to be done by the police wherever there is any power in equivalence and here we are talking of a crime in which the state obviously has both an interest and a hand there was an element of organized violence but the organizers also found segments of society willing to participate in chaos mem followed as boy mob violence faceless hordes of people spread out individuals finding security and courage to be their worst rabid selves as rioters arsonists and murderers if you see the run up to the violence this is what the government wanted to demonize a community through law the community comes out in peaceful protests largely you have a police force and a political class that is complicit in the government's demonization and finally the violence has acted out in keeping with the logic of the 2014 elections the central government did not try to formally engage or respond to serious fears of muslim community who were concerned about being disenfranchised by the ca nrc courts unfortunately also refused to intervene which justice bobde outright saying that this was mob violence and the court would not take it up aakhirkar delhi mein hinsa hui thi us hinsa ko aayojit karne wale kuch log rahe honge uski jaanch karne mein police ko koi ruchi nahi hai logon ne kaha jab hum uttar purve delhi gaye to wahan logon ne kaha ki bahar se log aaye the lambe tagde the helmet lagaye hue the kahan se aaye the 
कौन लोग थे किन्होंने भेजा था दिल्ली पुलिस को उसकी जांच में कोई रुचि नहीं है दिल्ली पुलिस ने जांच को उल्टी दिशा में मोड़ दिया और वह है कि जो लोग नागरिकता के कानून का विरोध कर रहे थे उन्होंने ही हिंसा भड़काई है सेवरल पॉलिटिकल लीडर्स मेड ऑफेंसिव स्पीचेस ही शुड ट्वीट्स अगेंस्ट प्रोटेस्टर्स इन कैंपेन बीजेपी इन फैक्ट अनाउंस दैट मोबालाइजिंग पीपल इन सपोर्ट ऑफ द सी ए वॉज अ की पार्टी एजेंडा नाउ इन द रिपोर्ट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वी हैव इनफैक्ट रिप्रोड्यूस्ड सम ऑफ द स्पीचेस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम मिस्टर अनुपम दैन प्रेसिडेंट एंड ऑफ द बीजेपी Delhi unit and to Yogi Adityanand, Kapil Mishra and everybody. So the Election Commission had a crucial role in preventing election from becoming platforms for the spread and mobilization of hateful content. But we found that the commission issued gag orders only in some cases of hate speech, and never ordered, never ordered. That's very important. Registration of FIRs. remember that this is the capital city of the country that if something like this can happen in delhi it can happen anywhere and i believe that moment was very very important because the you know the entire emergence that you see of genocide public calling out of genocide and so on started there you had these important um, bjp functionaries shouting for people to kill you know so that moment is a very important moment and we need to understand what it's about there are some people who will not like to remember it but there are people who who feel concerned and all those who feel concerned that something like this shouldn't happen uh, shouldn't be repeated ever again so those people have to have to really remember it and uh, i'm i'm sure it's not something very pleasant to remember but there are painful things also which need to be part of your memory and need to be commemorated at least all those who suffered theek 3 saal ho gaye aur abhi tak aadhe se zyada muqadmon mein puri tahqiqati nahi hui ye bhi abhi tak spasht hai ke ek <coughs> इसको अंग्रेजी में कहते हैं काउंटर नेरेटिव बनाया गया और वो काउंटर नेरेटिव सिर्फ दिल्ली दंगों में नहीं बना वो धीरे धीरे पूरे देश में बन रहा है और वो ये है कि जो जिस पर हमला होता है उसी को हमलावर साबित करो इवेंट्स लाइक दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट टू इंश्योर दैट सम ऑफ़ आर कमिंग आउट अगेन नन ऑफ आर कमिंग आउट अगेन आर वी आउट देयर ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स वी आर नॉट दिस बिन दिस चिलिंग इफेक्ट we are not coming out this is one tiny step i don't know it needs to become a rush we need to be out on the streets again we need to be telling this sarkar not in our name hatya aur hinsa aur balatkar aur lynching aur ghrana aur jhoot ye ab samajik abhivyakti ke lagbhag kanuni upay ho gaye kyunki inko lekar koi karwai nahi hoti इस प्रकरण में भी आप देखें दिल्ली दंगों में तो जिन्होंने दंगा उकसाया जिन्होंने बहुत ही नफरत जगाऊ भाषण दिए उनके विरुद्ध कोई कार्रवाई नहीं हुई हमने देखा सुना था उनसे कि दो साल बीत जाने के बाद भी वो अकेले जूझ रहे हैं जस्टिस के लिए कॉम्पनसेशन नहीं है घर नहीं मिले जख्म अभी बहुत सारे लोग ऐसे थे जिनकी जो गोलियां लगी थी अभी भी उनके कंधे में और घुसी हुई थी पीठ में और वो किसी तरह से अपना ज़िंदगी जो है उसको दोबारा लाइन पे लाने की कोशिश कर रहे थे बच्चियां हैं जिनके स्कूल छूट गए औरतें हैं जो अकेली रह गई मुझे लगता है ये इवेंट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट है एक बार उन्हें लोगों को भी याद करने के लिए जो अकेले में जूझ रहे हैं किसी तरह से इंसाफ मांगने के लिए किसी तरह से लोगों से कहने के लिए कि हम हैं इसी मुल्क के बाशिंदे हैं जिन्हें आप भूल चुके हो गाने तो प्रतिरोध के गाए जाएंगे आवाज़ें भी उठाती जाएंगी उठाई जाएंगी आखिरी वक्त तक उठाई जाएंगी लेकिन उसका मतलब ये नहीं है कि हम जीत पाएंगे उसकी उम्मीद आज की तारीख में मेरे लिए कहना बहुत मुश्किल है at the end of the day uh, i have always said that our dna is the same 
the color of my blood is the same as yours. Uh, my forefathers were born here. Uh, I was born here, I will die here, I'll be buried here. And therefore, I see no difference between you and me. Uh, and to that end, if we can carry that message to all across this city, as indeed India, it'll be, it'll be a big thing. Umid or na umid, na umid, in ke beech hum uv chub hote rehte. Umid karna chhod nahi sakte, kyunki Bharatiya hain, kyunki nagrik hain, kyunki manushya hain, to umid hamara lagbhag dharm hai. लेकिन जो वातावरण है उसमें न्यायालय भी कई बार हमको नाउमीदी के अंधेरे में ढकेल